Hey everyone, welcome to my Elasticsearch tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly install and run Elasticsearch and Kibana using Docker. If you're working with logs, data analytics, or searching through massive amounts of text, Elasticsearch is a must-know tool. Let's get started. Before we dive into the installation, let's quickly talk about what ELK is. ELK stands for Elasticsearch, Logstash, DetApp, and Kibana. It's a powerful stack used for searching, analyzing, and visualizing data in real time. Uh, while Logstash handles data ingestion, today we're focusing on Elasticsearch and Kibana, the core components for storing and visualizing data. Now, instead of installing everything manually, we'll use Docker to set it up in just a few commands. Here's why that's a great approach. Docker makes installation simple, fast, and repeatable. Um, Instead of dealing with dependencies and configurations, we just pull a pre-configured ELK stack and run it. It also makes it easy to stop, start, or completely reset our setup without affecting our system. All right, let's jump into the installation. First, open your terminal and run the following command to clone the ELK Docker setup. This will download a ready-to-use LK setup. Next, navigate to the project folder. Now, let's start the setup service. This service runs a one-time script that initializes users in Elasticsearch using the passwords defined in the .nv file. It also creates the necessary roles for some of these users. Here is the content of the .env file. You can see that by default, the passwords are set to change me, but you can set your own. Now let's start the setup service. Finally, start everything with Docker Compose. This will download and launch all the required L containers in the background. It may take a minute or two, so be patient. Before opening the browser, let's verify that all Elk services are running properly. Run the following command in the terminal. This will show a list of running containers. You should see three containers, one for Elasticsearch, one for Kibana, one for Logstash. If you don't see them, check your Docker setup. Next, let's check if Elasticsearch is running. Open this URL in your browser. You should enter the username Elastic and the default password ChangeMe. If everything is working, you should see a JSON response containing information about the Elasticsearch cluster. If you encounter an error, ensure that Elasticsearch has fully started. Sometimes it takes a little longer to initialize, especially on the first run. Now let's check Kibana, which provides a web interface for visualizing Elasticsearch data. Open this URL in your browser. Enter the same username and default password. If everything is set up correctly, Kibana's login screen or dashboard should appear. It may take a couple of minutes to fully start, so don't worry if it doesn't load immediately. And that's it. In just a few minutes, we installed and started Elasticsearch and Kibana using Docker. No complicated configurations, no dependency issues, just two simple commands. In the next videos, I'll show you how to configure Elasticsearch, add data, and create dashboards in Kibana. So I hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching my tutorials. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe. See you later. Bye.